Look what 62% of everyone in America is demanding Trump do right now, do you support this? President Trump is considering banning immigrants, who've lived in America for less than five years, from attaining government welfare services. To no surprise, this has gained a majority support from American citizens who no longer want their tax dollars being used to pay for the freebies of others. The biggest group supporting this is the middle class workers who always seem to foot the bill for everything while getting no tax breaks in the process. The middle class earns too much to qualify for any government perks, but the middle class also doesn't earn enough to gather any lucrative rich people tax breaks. The middle class essentially pays for everything, so there's no shock to see more than 70% of them approve of Trump's welfare ban. In a new Rasmussen poll, 62% of likely voters said they support barring new immigrants to the U.S. from receiving welfare benefits for at least five years, as Trump recently proposed during a speech to supporters. Middle-class Americans making $30,000 to $50,000 a year are the most likely to support the ban on welfare for immigrants, with 72% in favor. Those who describe themselves as moderates are also on board at a rate of 61%. Even more is the prospects of making sure no illegal aliens receive taxpayer-funded public welfare benefits. The biggest gap in American welfare is the fact that our country gives freebies to illegal immigrants. How can a non-citizen qualify for these benefits? How come they don't need an ID for anything? How much money does the government waste on handouts to people who don't even care to become a citizen? Too much. If Trump is able to stop illegal immigrants from gaining access to government funds such as welfare, then Trump's approval rating could raise a little bit, however it might lower if polls talk to mostly illegal immigrants. Middle class Americans making $30,000 to $50,000 a year are the most supportive, with 80% favoring the plan. It's also incredibly popular with Americans who dropped out of college or high school. A total of 96% of high school dropouts support banning illegal immigrants from welfare, while 80% of college dropouts agree. Middle class America is behind the immigrant welfare ban, but the information providing shows another underlying problem with people dropping out of school. Perhaps the money saved from banning immigrant welfare should be used to help counsel the people who drop out of school. What can we do to help those people take their life in a direction that's meaningful and successful? College isn't for everyone, but everyone should graduate high school. How can we help dropouts get back into learning or find a trade that's enjoyable to them so they succeed in life and don't end up like a gender studies loser with no job? A shocking fact from USA Today reveals a staggering statistic showing that about half of all immigrants in America are on welfare. About 51% of immigrant-led households receive at least one kind of welfare benefit, including Medicaid, food stamps, school lunches and housing assistance, compared to 30% for native-led households, according to the report from the Center for Immigration Studies, a group that advocates for lower levels of immigration. Those numbers increase for households with children, with 76% of immigrant-led households receiving welfare, compared to 52% for the native-born. If that many immigrants receive welfare benefits, then I believe it's America's collective duty to investigate each household and determine what the best situation for each person is. First of all, are they a legal immigrant? If not, then deport. If they're legal, then are they able-bodied to work? If so, then start finding jobs for people so they can contribute to society and pay taxes like the rest of us. Another issue I see is the free school lunch program. The food is barely edible and most children throw the lunch in the trash. It's wasted money and the program should be replaced with a cheap school lunch option. Get better food for cheap prices or let students pack their own lunch. If a family is already getting welfare and wit, then they can learn how to budget their money to buy lunch for their kids. If you can't afford to feed your kids, then stop having kids. Having kids is a responsibility and too many poor people run around making like 10 kids and turning into degenerates who abuse the system. If you can't afford one kid, 
then what are you doing have 7, 8, 9 or more? I believe the best solution to welfare is to handle it on a case-by-case -case basis. Investigate everyone who asks for it instead of handing it out like it's a drug and people are addicted to it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.